Welcome to this video from In 28 Minutes. Thanks for helping us provide awesome learning experiences to more than 300,000 learners across multiple platforms, Udemy, Safari and Pact. Let's welcome our lead instructor, Rangarao Karanam. In this video, we will be talking about one of the important concepts in Spring, one of the important projects in Spring called Spring Data. We will also talk about Spring Data JPA. Why is Spring Data JPA important and what problem does it solve? Let's imagine you are developing an application using JPA. When you write applications using JPA, in your data layer, in your data objects, what we would be doing is we would be using the entity manager. We would have the entity manager and use it to create entities. Over here, we are trying to use the entity manager and find a passport with a specific ID. Here, we are trying to create a passport. We would want to create a new passport. So we are calling the merge method. Let's say instead of the passport, I would want to handle this student. What would I need to do? I'd almost write very, very sim similar code, right? Instead of passport.class, here I would pass student.class. Instead of entity manager.merge passport, I would be saying entity manager.merge student. I mean, we are looking at a couple of methods in here, but if you look at it, actually all the methods would be very, very similar. So why do you want all this kind of duplication in logic in doing things? Why not we create a common interface which would allow us to do all these things automatically? How you insert a student is not very different from how you insert a passport. How you get a student using a primary key is not very different from how you get a passport using a primary key. The other factor which has also happened in parallel is the explosion of data stores, right? So we are not only talking to relational database. Earlier, JPA was the only way or most of the people were using relational databases. So you were using JPA to connect to the relational database. And that's cool. Whenever you use relational database, JPA uh, is a great way for doing simple transactions. But now, today we talk about big data. We talk about a lot of big data data stores, MongoDB, Cassandra. You talk about Hadoop. That's where Spring Data comes in. Spring Data says, why do I need to connect to different data stores in different ways? Why do I need to worry if I'm connecting to a JPA data store or a Hadoop or a Cassandra or a MongoDB? Why not create common abstractions which help us to connect and switch between these data stores. So Spring Data is independent of the type of the data store you are connecting to. And Spring Data JPA is nothing but an extension of the Spring Data to connect to JPA, to connect to relational databases, to use Hibernate. So when you're using Spring Data JPA, all that you need to do is say, student repository extends a CRUD repository. CRUD stands for create, read, update, and delete. So this CRUD repository provides all the features that you would need to update, delete, insert, and get the details of a student. All that you need to tell is this is the class and this is the primary key. Once you do that, you get a lot of features. What are the features that you'd get? You'd be able to do a find by ID. You'd be able to check if a student exists with that specific ID. If you want to do a find all, you can do that. If you want to do a delete by ID, you can do that. Or a wide variety of other methods. There is also a paging and sorting repository which you can extend if you need pagination and sorting. You can specify, I would need this page of the results or I would want them sorted in this specific way. In this video, we talked about Spring Data and Spring Data JPA. We said Spring Data is a common abstraction that allows us to talk to different kinds of data stores in the same way. And we talked that Spring Data JPA is an extension to the Spring Data. It allows us to talk to JPA and it eliminates a lot of duplicate code that you would write to talk to the entity manager. Most of this stuff, you can easily automate it using Spring Data JPA. In 28 Minutes is providing awesome learning experiences to 300,000 learners across platforms like Udemy, Safari Online and Pact. We have clogged million hours of learning in the last few months. The question is, what do you want to learn next? We are building solutions to help programmers at all levels. 
You can learn programming with our awesome courses on Java, Python and JavaScript. You can learn full stack development with REST APIs and microservices with a wide range of frameworks like Spring Boot, Node.js, React, Angular and Spring Cloud. We have 200 plus videos to help you start your journey from a programmer to a software architect. We have videos to help you learn frameworks, industry trends, including things like microservices, learn the best practices in architecture, design and code quality. Thanks for watching. Keep learning in 28 minutes.